Okay, so here we're in the car. I have the wireless OBD2 uh, interface plugged into the OBD2 port of the car uh, using wireless. I uh, wrote some code here um, to um, now to read this thing. First, I had a set up the connection to the Wi-Fi which is you know the same way you would do for any kind of Wi-Fi now here let me run my little test code here okay so there's my little box now we click this to actually connect to our device and as you can see it says we connected now we can send it commands. So down here in this bottom box, I'll type ATZ and then click the button to send it. And you see we got a response from the uh, uh, interface. Now we can send ATE1, which just tells us to echo the commands and click. And then you see we got a response, but it looks all run together. So let's add line fiends with ATL1. Okay, so now we got some line feeds there. You can see the ATL1 okay. Now let's tell it uh, ATI, which is just give us the version number of the chip that's inside there. We do that. And you can see it says Elm 327 version 1.5. Uh, now we can tell it ATSP0, which is to use the protocol um, automatically selected. So it told us OK. Now we can do something on like do like ATRV, which will read the battery voltage. It's kind of hard to do this and talk at the same time. It's reading 12 volts exactly. Okay. Now we can do a few other things here. I got my trusty manual here, so let's see what some of these other codes are here. Um, let's issue it the zero one zero zero command. And I don't know if you can see that, but it returns some data. I forget what that means, but I'll look it up. And then now we can get the current engine coolant temperature by typing 0105 and uh, hitting send. Okay, but you see the three bytes it's returned. Uh, there's an algorithm for decoding those three bytes. So for right now, we're just going to assume we know what the hell it is. And uh, we can get engine RPM by typing 010C and sending it. Okay, that returns some other numbers, and there's an algorithm to decode that. So we'll have to do that. Well, that's it for right now. This is my little short uh, introduction, but now I know I can actually read to this thing and get the information I want, so I'm really excited. Uh, signing out.